think it's pretty good. Sure. Oh, that's that squeak I was telling you about. Mm. Just need to spray some WD on that. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. This is Emily and Matt here. We're out camping on Memorial Weekend. Hope you had a safe holiday and got out somewhere fun. We're uh, in an area we've been in before, but just a lot deeper. It's gonna be a fun weekend. The weather is beautiful. And uh, just trying out a few pieces of gear this trip, getting ready for summer camping and uh, just gonna relax. So keep watching, we've got something fun planned for dinner. We're gonna do another meal cooking under our pop-up fire pit. And we've got a fun cocktail for you. And we're gonna use uh, our power bank with our cocktail. So if you are wondering what the heck we're talking about, keep watching and we'll show you later. I'm trying some new steaks. We're not messing around with the piddly ones that bend every time you knock them in. So this thing's gonna be a sale today. It's a little breezy. Oh yeah. Old. This thing's so easy to set up so quick, but these little nubs that hold the poles up, they sometimes don't come out all the way, just jiggle it up and down. Good to go. One cool thing we found out on our jewel co, we didn't even notice this before, it already has the lines pre-attached in this little uh, Velcro bag. Just thought that was pretty genius and I'd share that with you. But uh, gonna get this puppy cinched down and take a poop. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Free power time. Soaking up our Renogy panel here. Flexible, lightweight, this thing's super durable. And uh, I don't know, we might actually get another similar panel or something a little more rigid to test against the Renogy, but we've loved this thing, had it two years. got an uptick. So we have a really good sized spot here and we intentionally set everything up over there because as we were scouting, we noticed the biggest anthill we've ever seen right here. So we don't want to be anywhere <laughs> near this one. Have you guys ever seen an anthill this big? Look at that, it's crazy. I just, I'm itchy just looking at it. Absolute glorious day. North Cascades. A little breeze, sun, mid 70s. Hey everybody, welcome back to another edition of Camp Cocktails of the Wisemans. We're uh, doing something a little different this time, getting a little crazier. We're going to make a pina colada, but without a blender, and it's gonna be blended. So for this, we're gonna need our Blue Eddy Max Oak Power Station. This uh, is such a handy item to have. We've never actually used it to make a drink though, so I'm very excited to try this out. We have our immersion blender, which is gonna blend up our ice for us. And uh, we don't even know if this is gonna work yet, so let's give it a shot. All right, full charge, AC power's on. Moment of truth. 
Nice. The surge was actually only up to like 80 watts. And I think we can go up to two or 300. So uh, we're ready to rock and roll. So in our lineup today for this recipe, we have Bacardi rum, pineapple juice, some coconut cream, and crushed pineapple out of the can. We didn't want to go through an entire pineapple just for a couple scoops. So we went with a canned route, should taste fine. Let's get her started. We're gonna start out with our rum. We're gonna do two ounces for that. Next, we're going three ounces of pineapple juice. Actually, let's give that a good <laughs> shake. Two. Three. Coconut cream. Uh, we are going one and a half ounces. I'm gonna actually have to scoop. Oh, wow, that's thick. And I uh, remembered one tip I had for myself was to do the cream first. That way everything else rinses out your measuring device. You could also probably just do two or three big scoops of this if it's that chunky. <laughs> uh, yeah, so do that one first. We're okay though. Couple uh, big old scoops of pineapple, crushed. And last but not least, we need some ice. We're gonna go with about 10. All right, here we go. <laughs> See how this works. Oh, that's not bad at all. Oh, there we go. When you really wanna piss off your neighbors, <laughs> Good thing we don't have many neighbors up here. All right. Oh God, that smells good. Actually, like that we was knew perfect. What we're doing. <laughs> Let's give this guy a shot here. You gotta try this one. It's really good. Give me my cup back. Uh uh. All right, here's your uh, woodworking segment. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, making another table. Oh, this should be good. But is it level? You could fit six packs of soda on there. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Memorial Day happy hour. Eat it on. We've been having the worst time with wind. We had the fire pit here originally, you saw, but everything has just been blasting at the camper. So we're gonna try over there because the wind, if you look at the flag, it's just consistently gonna go that direction. So again, having the pop-up fire pit, Matt just grabbed the ax and we drug it over here. And uh, we're gonna try this setup. And at least if the wind continues to go this direction, it won't blow at the camper.
It's dinner time and we are attempting to cook our dinner under our pop-up fire pit yet again. We uh, successfully cooked a frozen pizza in one of our last videos, so check that out. For tonight's dinner, we're gonna cook nachos. Thank you, Eric, our subscriber. You know who you are, you gave us this idea. And then just to make it fun and interesting, we are gonna cook some uh, frozen burritos. They're not actually frozen, frozen anymore, uh, but that'll probably help. So nachos and burritos, here we go. Oh, those are gonna cook in like a minute. Oh, it's hot. Yeah. I've never had nachos camping. This will be a first. Yeah. Those look really good though, right? I don't think I've ever seen nachos <laughs> camping. Yeah, these were these were terrible nachos, you guys. Don't recommend. Don't do this. It's, it's a bad idea. They, they're, they're awful. Totally eating right now. Yeah. 